feel like J-Lo in Hustlers. Two. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to the Inner Pole, and this week we're going to do the Fireman Spin. The Fireman Spin is a classic beginner spin, it's also going to help you with your spinning entrance into your climb, okay? So let's get started. Inside arm is always high and always very straight, outside arm is right across. This is very much like a dip where we go around except this time we're gonna bring our legs to the pole much like we're climbing. So watch me and then we'll break it down. All right, so think sexy fireman descending down the pole. That's exactly what this is. So we're using the climb position where we have one leg in front, one leg in back, knees are high, but this time we're not actually gripping to try to lift up. We're just holding and allowing ourselves to slide down. Always, always your inside arm is high. Outside arm goes right across. We're gonna step with that inside leg, make a circle and bring this front leg around. So do that a couple times with me. Around and catch right in front, right behind the calf. Mm -hmm. Around right behind the calf, last time, around, right behind the calf. Don't worry too much about this bottom arm right now. You really just wanna engage through the top arm. If anything, it's gonna be pushing back a little bit to keep your hips from swinging into the pole. So that's what the outside leg is doing. The inside leg is coming right to the pole, just like our climb position, so just past the kneecap, right along the shin here. You can flex it if that feels more comfortable for you or we'll keep it pointed for a nicer look. Let's try it together. Circle around, pull down, lift the legs on and now we're gonna let it slide until we find the floor and twist out. Good, let's practice on the other side. Inside arm high, outside arm across. Take that leg around and hook. Good, do that three more times. Three, I feel like J-Lo in Hustlers. Two, <laughs> one, good. The inside leg is just gonna find the pull. So do that a couple times so you get used to it. And again, top arm is nice and high. Bottom arm can be pushing back slightly so you have this nice triangle. All right, we're gonna step with that inside leg Outside leg makes a big circle, knees to the pole, and slide it down. Here we go. Circle, pole, knees. You can lean back a little bit and slide down to the floor. Very good. So let's try walking into it. Same as with the dip, we're going to take three steps. Arm goes up on the third one. Arm reaches across on four, and we'll go into our fireman. So start with the inside leg, we go. One, two, arm, three, reach across four, take it around, legs on, slide, and down to the floor, okay? You can do this on spin or static. I imagine it's quite a bit of spin if you are <laughs> just starting out, in which case, you need to make a smaller circle with that leg. You don't have to give it very much momentum at all, okay? You might wanna try this on static and you're just gonna to have to practice loosening your grip just a little bit so that the pole can slide through your hands. Not a death grip where you're turning, but your hands are staying planted where they are, okay? Let's try the opposite side. Starting in our bevel, three steps. One, two, arm, three, reach across, four, and leg comes around, knees on, slide, down to the floor. Okay, beautiful. All right, this will really help you with your spinning climb entrance, so have fun practicing the fireman spin. Thank you for dancing with me, and I will see you next week for something new. 
If you like this tutorial and you want to learn more with me, I do have a beginner pole dance subscription on my website dedicated to first time pole dancers. So if you just bought a pole during quarantine or you like my style and you want to brush up on your skills, there's over 40 videos taking you from your very first walks and climbs all the way to what you're seeing now and climbing in the air. So I like to make content for YouTube and my social media, but if you're looking for a consistent program where you can go at your own pace and reference all of these skills in full length tutorials, this is for you. It's on my website and I will link it down below.